So we miss out on substrate utilization, also fueling metrics with a lactate curve. We miss out on the anaerobic part with a conventional lactate curve. And I just explained why powderation curves, you know, seems to offer an alternative, but actually don't because they don't contain physiological information. Okay, that's the two as first two aspects where lactate profile testing can fall short. The third one is the interpretation of the left and right shift. Okay. Let's take a step back and look at this lactate profile, the lactate concentration, how you actually get to that concentration. And the concentration that you measure, leave alone that's the concentration and that's millipole per liter and you need to know the body composition. We have a whole article about that. Leave that alone. In the current situation of an athlete giving a certain body composition, what creates the lactate concentration is the lactate production, right? So. Obviously, some of the exercise, exercise intensity goes up, therefore more lactate is produced, therefore concentration gets higher. But on the other hand, there is also a lactate combustion. Lactate is combusted in the aerobic metabolism. And these two metabolic pathways, the combustion and the production, happen in parallel. So the concentration that you measure is the result of both. It is a result of a higher production or lower production and a higher or lower combustion. Okay?